I'm sorry that my hair is still wet, but the new Sims pack trailer just dropped, so we must watch it right now. I haven't had a chance to watch this yet, so this is my first reaction. I'm so excited. Let's literally just jump right in. Wait, I love this. Oh my god, wait, is this copyrighted? No DMCA. But this is so cute already. Not at last, but in Simlish. Oh, those nails are cute. I'm loving the look of all this build by. Super, super cute. Not the heartbreak. What is this world? Wait a minute. Wait, you can go wedding dress shopping? Oh, that's a gorgeous dress. That's a gorgeous dress. That's a gorgeous dress. That's a gorgeous pantsuit. Yes, slay. Not the cake tasting. I think it's kind of weird that it's like at a food stall though. I love the flower picking too. Okay, what is this story that we're seeing here? This is a long trailer too. Okay, I love being able to like have a toast. Not her being sad, not him passed out. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, I'm obsessed with this. New stained glass windows. Yes, so true, so true. What is happening? Ah, the drama, the drama. Oh my God. Wait, these are the pictures from the wedding. I'm gonna lose it. This hair is so pretty. Wait, this is so cute. The flower girl, shut up. The ring bearer, no way. The emotional walking down the aisle. Wait, this is so cute. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry, everybody. I just love the representation. I love this storyline. It's just amazing. Screaming, shaking, and crying. <gasps> oh yes, get down, besties. Okay, do we think that's gonna be a real interaction? Like, take icing from the cake, or do we think that was just for the trailer? The cutting the cake together. The catching of the bouquet. Okay, literally, I don't know why I'm acting so surprised because these are all stereotypical things that you do at a wedding, but like, I'm very excited to be able to do this with my Sims. <sighs> I'm gonna lose it. This is so cute. Say I do February 17th. Not me, like there are tears in my eyes, everybody. There are tears in my eyes, everybody. Okay, and then there's gonna be a live stream for it in two days. I'm so excited, everybody. And then, you know, after the trailer, we love to be reading about the pack. Introducing Tartosa, the most romantic world in all of The Sims 4. Sunsets, heart stopping, beaches or breathtaking. Paradise made for love. Ooh. From putting a ring on it to the renewal of vows, reflecting a true wedding and a happily ever after experience. Creatively discover different sides of oneself. Ooh. To plan out many versions of your Sims dream wedding. I wonder if this will like incorporate with like likes and dislikes. Okay, so there's pre-wedding festivities. You can absolutely be the spontaneous type and elope at City Hall. You can also spend some time selecting that flawless ring in create a sim picking the right time and location have the preference to host pre-wedding parties to celebrate the big news with family and friends just like your wedding your sim i'm not married your sim couple can plan their engagement party bachelorette bachelor parties and or rehearsal dinner choosing the sim of honor so right off the bat i'm kind of interested in how much create a sim is coming in this pack if is it just going to be wedding attire because i think this top and these shoes and maybe this skirt are also in the game i don't know if they're in the base game or come with packs but that's really interesting oh here we go after you've established your sims couples likes dislikes wants and nots you can move on to setting a date and choosing your venue this is what i wanted to know about the world tartosa is full of picturesque locations from a coastal village to the forested inland with everything you need to make your wedding day magical. I'm really gonna need like 15 lots in this world. Like I say that every time they release a new world, but I really need 15 to 20 lots. So I'm sure it's probably gonna be like six. <gasps> they partnered with community creators like Ice Munmun's Garden Palace of Vows in Centurial Harmony Garden by Catherine Games. <gasps> This looks cool. From traditional to modern, from flowy white gowns to the reds and henna typically worn by Hindu brides, there's a look for everyone. My thought on this, which is my thought on every time they put like something culturally representative in the game, is that it should be free. It should not be behind a paywall. But I'm sure there's gonna be some gorgeous items. And you'll be able to visit the flower cart, choose your bouquet, swing over to the patisserie shop to taste test and put your personal spin on your Sims perfect cake. Ah, and don't forget your cake topper. Perfect cinematic wedding. Oh, all of this stuff is so beautiful. Hang on. If you're celebrating, a more traditional Chinese matrimony, you can start the day with a family gathering. The customary tea ceremony, serving refreshments to your respective families. Now it's time for your wedding ceremony. Your guests will gather together. A flower pal and ring bearer. Oh my god, I love that it's called a flower pal, as it should be. In the wedding reception, you'll have the opportunity to toss your bouquet, cut the cake with your partner, and even share your first slow dance as a married couple. Complete with a rehearsed twirl and dip. Ooh. Memories to last a lifetime. As you and your partner grow old, you two will also have the chance for vow renewal reaffirming your love for each other in a smaller simpler version of your wedding ceremony that's so cute i love this idea of a pack i have to say and sometimes there's a press release that also comes out but they're harder to find honestly and sometimes it says more but usually that's just for like expansions and stuff but it looks like you know cake decorating will be a thing i'm really hoping it's a cake decorating skill again some of these cast items are already in the game so i'm wondering how much like everyday wear clothes we're getting you know what it didn't say anything about the other sim like the 
sim that you don't control being able to propose? I don't know though. Okay, this is so cute. All of this stuff. Oh my God, the candle. And this world looks gorgeous. That's definitely a playable lot. I'm sure maybe something down here is playable and then that's probably playable as well. This is so cute. Now, did it say about wedding dress shopping? I forget. Or like, do you just shop in cast for your wedding dress? Also, a lot of these items are super cute. Is that a new window? I never know what's in the game and what's not, especially in terms of like fancy windows. Something else that I noticed is the rainbow hot air balloon. We love pride. I'm super excited for more stained glass windows. Also, what is this? That must be like an archway that you can use. Oh my God, these lamps and these little flowers. I wonder if those together is a singular item or if those lamps come separately. <gasps> Even the little plant. Oh my God. Is it weird that one of the things I'm excited about is at least like a couple more candles in this pack? I don't want to sound like I'm complaining about the creative sim stuff though, because it looks like the stuff that is actually more meant for the wedding things is gorgeous. It looks so beautiful. And look at these chairs. Oh my God. And like a wedding sign. This is so cute. The flower pal and the ring bearer. Oh my goodness. <gasps> is that a new hair? Is that a new hair? That looks really good. And I love the nails too. I'm hoping that we get new nails because like wedding nails are definitely a thing. Getting your nails done a specific way for your wedding. Ooh, an earring. I'm sorry if some of this stuff is already in the game. I never do create a sim stuff. So, you know, I love the dancing and the cake and especially, like I said, the stained glass windows. Ah, I love it. I love all of this stuff too. Like the dragons with the lanterns. That's so cool. And then this plant, is that like a new buffet table or is that an old buffet table? Is it just like pre-made food arranged on a table to look like a buffet table? I love that it seems like there's going to be more beach lots. Like this is so cute. I'm so obsessed. So I definitely didn't want this video to be too long, but I just wanted to go over like my first reactions with everybody. Feel free to pop into a Twitch stream or a TikTok stream if you want to chat about this more. It's literally all looking so good. I love these little candles and I think this is going to be a really worthwhile pack if you're a game player because like I think it's going to function the same way Seasons does. That it's like a pack that you don't really have to go out of your way to do the gameplay. I know not everyone has weddings in their Sims games, but like more people are going to have weddings in their Sims games than are going to like want to go solve the Strangerville mystery. So I think it's going to be a really useful pack. I'm super looking forward to the live stream of it and I'm super looking forward to actually getting my hands on it to play it. I'm literally going to put off every single one of my Sims weddings until this pack is out. Oh, and I just saw this on Twitter. This is the best part. Sim Guru Frost said, attention Simmers, and it's an option to have everybody take their seats at the wedding. We've won. As Steph says, God is real. Because that was like one of the most talked about things in the lead up to this pack. Since we knew it was going to be a wedding pack, everyone was like, so will all of your Sims sit down at the wedding? I'm glad that they're adding more things like this because the game is too glitchy to have everyone sit down in the first place. <laughs> Wait, I'm also losing my mind. Why is nobody talking about this interaction? Stop. I hate to say it. That's really funny. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'm super excited. I will be live on Twitch in just a little bit if you want to chat about it. I cannot wait to play it. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel and my stream where you upload channel right up here. And you can watch another one of my videos right down here. Make sure you're following on Twitch and TikTok and you know, everywhere. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.